Today we're going to look at fishbone analysis, which helps businesses to summarize problems. And we're going to look at Tesla, who are, are an electric car company. Uh, this is their example of a car. This is an example of a man called Tesla, who I'm a big fan of. I've liked him for 30 years. I'll see him in the summer. Most people, however, are more aware of Tesla, the car company. Okay, so on the fishbone, what we do, or what I've done, is to split uh, Tesla up into four main areas of the problems finance, productivity, competition, and China. This morning, I spent much of my time Googling uh, Tesla's problems, so I could fill this in correctly. Um, when I did this first day last week, one of my students told me the information was wrong. So I went back and did it again. Okay, so, firstly, Tesla has never made a profit. First quarter 2017, its loss was higher than expected. Tesla is highly geared. 59% uh, of its finance comes from banks. This might mean that banks in future, or even at the moment, have a big influence on Tesla's activities. Uh, they may not be willing to lend more money to Tesla. Uh, also, and I didn't put this on here, the asset test ratio is less than one to one. So they may struggle to pay the short term debt. Secondly, productivity. Tesla, uh, in years gone past, has missed targets, uh, production targets. First quarter 2017, 25,000 cars were produced. This is a possible area of concern as in 2018, Tesla hopes to produce 500,000 cars. So if quarter one, 2017, 25,000 cars times four, that would kind of mean that we're maybe hopefully going to produce more than 100,000 cars. 2018, 500,000 cars? Hmm, maybe that's a little bit ambitious. Uh, there have been some reports about people not being happy with the quality of their car. Okay. Uh, competition, there are lots and lots of car companies out there. Uh, they are all, many of them are developing electric cars, so they are spending huge amounts of research and development. It has correctly been reported that Tesla is the, the biggest spender of all car companies on research and development, but that is only true as a percentage of revenue. As total spending, they are not. They don't spend the most. Other car companies spend more than them. But as a percentage of revenue, they spend the most. Uh, other car companies have established distribution networks. That just means they get lots and lots of car showrooms all over the world. Tesla doesn't have that yet. Um, China, although car sales of Tesla are increasing in China, their market share is still only about 1%. And so local car companies here have basically got the electric car market choked so up. And the government quite often uh, in China has given assistance to, uh, through the form of subsidies to the local uh, uh, electric car companies here. And all of the, uh, like the big petrol stations, Sinopec uh, petrol stations, they all have electric uh, car charging uh, units placed there. And Sinopec is uh, basically owned by the Chinese government. Okay, so this helps us summarize the problems facing uh, Tesla. Obviously, you need to use other tools to try and solve those problems. Uh, this tends to be uh, most widely used for your internal assessment, less widely used for the uh, on paper one or paper two. Um, so, but nevertheless, it is relatively easy to understand.